about what my impact was on the viewers and I know a lot of people like to debate and you know talk about this and talk about that but one thing came to my head one thing came to my mind and it has to do with what the purpose of my channel was and um, why it is I deliver what I deliver to individuals to groups to families so on and so forth. Every family has a person that breaks the chain of poverty. I'm hoping that person is you. Let me repeat that. Every family has one person that breaks the chain of poverty. And my purpose was to hope that it's you. Now, what do I mean by poverty? That doesn't mean you're broke. But it means more so in the sense that you're not living from paycheck to paycheck. Where you're not concerned about how you're paying your uh, electric bill, your car note. Uh, I'm not better than anybody else. My car got repossessed a few years ago. Right out the door, I met things happen things happen but here I, I was I was I was actually doing some research just to find out what the average income was so I'm not I'm, I'm reading this because I wrote it down this is gonna kind of blow your mind the average male men at the age of 40 Yearly income, this is the average, $45,000 a year. The average male at the age of 40 is only $45,000. Then it goes up by about $1,000 every few years. The average single female, $40,000. $40,233. <laughs> the average household combined income, only 12% of Americans with a husband and a wife or two people working together make between $75,000 and $99,000 a year. That's the average. The average household, which is only 12%, only 12% make $75,000 to $99,000 a year. That's, 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 it's weird, right? Now, Jay, why is it that you speak so much about money? Well, it's not that I speak so much about money. I spoke about the work. I spoke about the work in many vid videos and how hard the work is and how easy the work is. And you've heard testimonials and you've seen the little screenshots and you've heard the people gripe at me about it and say, hey, money isn't everything. An individual said to me or asked, she said, well, um, I'm concerned because this job is so demanding. I may not be able to spend time with my children or watch my child grow. Well, here's the truth. Let's break that uh, fictitious thought process for a moment. When I say sacrifice, that's exactly what I mean by a sacrifice. You sacrifice 
in order to make your money. Then you got the one person that says, Jay, why we got to sacrifice? Family means everything. We'll listen to the whole video. Sacrifice. When you went to college, the few that did, you put that work and energy in for two years, four years, six years, eight years in order to get the degree. And you had to work. You had very little time. You put the energy and the time in for college and the work in order to survive for those that went through college, right? To come out of college, some of them are making less than what you're making now. What the hell is that got to do with anything? Because people that are crying about the 12-hour days, the 14-hour days, it only lasts two years. It only lasts two years or until you become regular. You enter in at entry level. You grind to get to the point where you don't have to work 60 hours a week, 50 hours a week. <clears throat> you put the energy in initially so that you become a regular. A lot of people that started last year, they're regulars now, which is less than a year. And they don't have to work six days a week, 12 hour days. It becomes optional at that point, unless they request it because there's heavy mail volume. But let's not get technical. For those that are so concerned that they won't have a regular life, that's the, all the comments, I won't have a regular life, I won't have a regular life. You need to learn how to time manage. If you can't sacrifice two years of your life in order to achieve those goals and achieve that end game in order to break the chain of poverty in your family, then you're not, no matter what your passion is, it's not going to matter. Speaking to a buddy yesterday, he knows who he is. We were talking about the younger generation and how they say, follow your passion, follow your dream. Don't, don't conform to society's way of become, uh, working a nine to five or that job that you hate. That's great. You want to be an artist? Great. But how's that going to bring income into your family? What are you going to do for now in order to get and achieve that dream job? You're going to have to work for it. What do you think that you can just live rent free? The bills still come. Bills still come. Babies still need milk. Car notes still need to get paid. Electric still got to get paid. Let's not be ignorant and think that society just gives us anything. I'm giving you information in order for you to make an educated decision on how you want to approach this. You can either grind now for the next year and a half, two years, and then get yourself a regular schedule so you can break that chain of poverty, or you can get in the inbox, or you can get in the comment section and bitch about how hard the work is. I don't have a life. I no longer can sit at my desk job and type away. When I say bitch, I mean gripe about things that are unfounded. The negative reviews, they're all true. I tell you last video, stop reading the negative reviews. Read that paycheck. Those people that are giving the negative reviews, they're no longer there because they couldn't get past that. Two years of their life, two years, younger people, two years goes by real quick. And then the other ones that are working there that are griping about, I hate this job. 34 years, you hate this job, why you didn't quit? I'm hoping that some of the people at my place quit. They come in every day just hard, oh, well, I hate this place, oh, man, I hate this place. Leave, quit. You make space for somebody else. That's my mindset. But I want you to break that chain of poverty. If you watched your parents struggle, if you watched your family members struggle, don't you want to be the one to say, you know what? I don't need to struggle anymore. And you may think and try to fool yourself saying that you're not struggling, but we all do. And struggling with the financial difficulties causes mental distress. And mental distress causes that anxiety, and anxiety 
goes into this whole other video that I will be posting soon directed at the mental stress that this job can entail. But until then, let us try, attempt to break that chain of poverty. Hopefully it is you. And again, don't take the word poverty as if I'm downplaying anybody. I'm just trying to uplift those that watch. J.H. We out, y'all.